Welcome back. We are still talking about the water cycle today. Where water comes from to get to the wetlands, what happens to the water from the wetlands, okay? So we are going to read Pitter and Patter by Martha Sullivan, and I want you to look for the different parts of the water cycle that you saw during your last class day in your coloring paper and in the book and in your activity, okay? See if you can identify the different parts of the water cycle here. Pitter and patter dropped from a cool gray cloud one day. Pitter landed on a leaf on an oak tree. Hello, squirrel. Good morning, Blue Jay. Rise and shine, caterpillar. He dripped into the stream below. Hello, crayfish. Howdy, snake. Best wishes for the day, mayfly. The stream carried Pitter down into the valley. Hello, fox. Greetings, dear. A pleasure to see you again, hawk. It flowed into a winding river. Hello, trout. Good day, dragonfly. All good things to you, otter. The river poured into a wetland of tall, swaying grasses. Hello, crab. So nice to meet you, shrimp. A happy day to you, heron. The wetlands met the ocean. Hello, turtle. A pleasure as always, Ray. See you again soon, jellyfish. Meanwhile, Patter landed on a spring meadow. Hello, Daisy. Good morning, Bee. Rise and shine, butterfly. She trickled down into the dark, damp soil. Hello, is anybody here? Oh, hi there, Ant. Howdy, Earthworm. Best wishes for the day, Mole. She traveled deeper and spilled into the stream of an underground cave. Hello, Bat. Greetings, Salamander. A pleasure to see you again, Cricket. The stream flowed into a river. Hello, Beaver. Good day, Mink. All good things to you, Salmon. And the river swept Patter out to sea. A happy day to you, Seal. So nice to meet you, Squid. Hello, Pitter! The mists, in a mist of sea spray, Pitter and Patter met the warm rays of the sun. They became warmer and warmer. They became lighter and lighter. They floated up into the sky where they joined their old friend, the gray cloud. Do you see Pitter and Patter going back up into the cloud? All right, so let's talk about our water cycle and where in the water cycle they were. Okay, so we have the cloud up here where condensation happens. And when that cloud gets heavy enough, what happens? Do you remember? Precipitation, that's right. The water comes down either as rain or snow, okay? Um, it could be hail. So any type of precipitation is, is water coming down from the sky, okay? And then it can go in onto a meadow. It can go onto a tree, it can go right into a stream or the ocean, and then it travels, right? So Pitter traveled through the stream and out to the ocean. Patter went down into the groundwater. She went through the ground into an underground cave, and some of that underground water goes back out in springs and out to the ocean, and some of it stays there. Um, and then people dig wells and can get water out of the ground that way. And then they went back out to the ocean. And so all of that where the water is collecting and flowing is, a, is collection or accumulation. 
And then they got warm and they flew back up into the cloud. And that flying up when they got warm is evaporation. All right, very good, my friends. Now go on and do your activity.